Hey guys, King Adu here bringing you an update. Uh, I said yesterday in my last video that I wanted to cover Steam today um, and Steam it. So, um, and what perfect timing. Of course, I say that and it hits an all time high. And right now, at this very moment, uh, we are retesting the new all time high, um, which is about a dollar oh eight, dollar oh nine ish range. And uh, it's super cool super cool um because i just got all signed up on steam it recently and i've been using it and i think that it's pretty genius uh pretty uh it, lots of advanced thought had to go into that one it is uh very well thought out the way that they're doing it and i'm going to walk you through that uh right now so hopefully during this video we'll get to see it go up live um here on this video there it is it just did it. Oh, no, maybe that's the same. It's close. Anyhow, so while we wait for Steemit to go up in value, uh, let me show you how it works and why I think it's really cool. And then you guys can be the judge about its long-term um, stability, its long-term usefulness, and whether it's just a fad or if it's the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Steemit here. And uh, what I wanted to show you first, and this is a concept that is very important to understand how this site works. Um, in general, the site works like this. You basically post and get paid if people upvote. That's cool. It's like Reddit, right? And Reddit's obviously a huge website. If you don't use it, Reddit's one of the biggest websites out there for uh, original content um, and for posting content. But uh, Steam it. it wants to be a direct competitor. They actually want to take it down. And what's interesting about Reddit is the first time I heard about Reddit was the first time I ever heard about blockchain. And what's interesting, I, I, I don't know, I was thinking about the day and just how interesting that was back in about 2012, 2013, when I heard about those two things. I was like, who in the world would use this Reddit site? This is a horrible site. I practically live on it now. Um, and back then I was like, what are people mining? What is, what is cryptocurrency? What are they mining and where, where is it? Somewhere out there in the universe, people are mining things called Bitcoins. It's interesting. Anyhow, here we are today. And, uh, I think some people may go to Steam it for the first time and say, why would I use this? Why would, you may be thinking the exact same thing, especially if you don't use Reddit and maybe more so if you do. So the key concepts, again, you get paid for posting content. So you can go to the homepage here and you can see here's some new posts. Looks like crypto has a new interview out with Amanda B. Johnson and, uh, definitely go watch that. Crypto's my man. Uh, and he doesn't even know it. Uh, he's the inspiration for me doing this channel. Um, but check that out. But here you can see all the hottest content. On the right side, you have all the different topics. So there's something for you. There's something for everyone. Uh, whether it's cryptocurrency, blockchain, or you're interested in art, travel, and writing. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. Because you see here that everyone's making a lot of money. Uh, when I upvote, right here I'm going to upvote to the stash interview that, um, video. It just went up one penny. Part of that is because I have a lot of weight on Steemit, um, and I'll get into that in a moment. But basically, you earn Steam, the currency, cryptocurrency, uh, when people upvote your content. Cool idea. Not only that, if I go over here to new, here's a brand new, brand new post in Flowers. If I think this post is going to go viral, I definitely want to upvote it right away. You will actually get rewarded for being essentially an early adopter of high quality content. Uh, you essentially can raise your score on Steemit. Um, that gets you, again, potentially more payout. Uh, there's a payout that basically happens all the time, every single day, but you have to wait about a week. You have to wait one week to actually get your reward. So that's what's really interesting, first of all. So if we go back to the homepage, uh, crypto right now has made 1369 in Steam currency. So that's US dollar conversion. 
and he is going to get paid this in seven days. You must be thinking, wow, man, he must be making a lot of money. Well, is he? Let's take a look. So, there's a really, really cool website called Steam Stats, where you can actually go, and any user on Steam it, look them up, and actually see how much they've earned, how much they've invested, um, how much each post is made, and essentially what they're doing with their Steam. So here's the website, and here we've got crypto. And you can see, we can actually go over here and look at the accounts. Completely transparent, guys. It's, a, it's incredible. You can actually see um, how much steam power he has right now. It's interesting. Um, you can actually go and you can look at every single transaction they've done. Look at that. Crypto went ahead and transferred to Polonex. Did it a couple times today. Interesting, right? So right here is about, in today's money, $767 that Crypto cashed out. That's pretty cool. You can look at mining data if they're mining and witnesses. And that's, you know, that's kind of like voting power. I won't get into that in this video because it's actually quite complicated, but... Essentially, people who can vote on things that happen in the community here. Anyhow, so you can actually come here and get to know um, what people are doing with their money. And now let's talk about why the price is probably going up so fast. When you go to post on Steemit, you get a, you get this right here. Let me go ahead and um, set this up here. Submit a story. Okay. This is what it looks like. Pretty normal, looks like anything you'd post online, except for this one little button down in the bottom right called Power Up 100%. Okay. Default 50-50% or decline a payout. Hmm. So what's interesting is you can actually decline any payout if you want. Okay, that's awkward. You can choose to do 50-50. That means for every uh, one Steam you make, half of it goes into powering up your Steam. I'm about to teach you what powering up is. Or you can power all your Steam up. So let's go ahead and talk about what powering up is. So essentially there's Steam, just like you would buy and sell on the exchange. And um, you can power it up. It's like staking, it's like investing in the site, it's like locking it in. When you do that, it stays there and gives you more power when you vote up. You also make more money, you get more of the money that's being distributed. You just saw how much crypto cashed out there. Makes you wonder, huh, if he were to double how much he had in here, I wonder how much he would have made. Who knows? Now, there's some people out there trying to figure out the algorithm to figure all that out, and they're getting close, and that's going to be helpful for people to know how much to invest. But with transparency and knowing how much to invest, you might see money get poured into here. And I think we're starting to see some of that now. People are starting to understand the concept. Now, this is important, too. There are 800 steam produced every minute. So since I started this video... A lot of steam has been produced, right? And right now you're thinking, well, what in the world? What? Why? Why would they keep printing money? I mean, isn't that the whole point of cryptocurrency, not to print money and things like that? That's true. Um, but when we're talking about the concept of this site and what they're trying to do with the printing of the money, it actually makes perfect sense. First of all, I pretty much am really, really incentivized to at least put half back into the site and leave it there and lock it up. I also may just want to put all of it back in it because I believe in it. And that's what I'm doing currently, is I'm putting 100% of everything back into my account. So whenever I get a payout, when you guys upvote me on Steam, and I definitely appreciate it, I'm actually getting rewarded in Steam currency. And that's pretty cool, but I'm powering it up. Now, what, is, what does powering up mean? You still haven't got to the point. Powering up, basically, is staking in the site, 
And if you want to power down, if you want to get your money out, it takes a full year. Okay? Think about that. So, most likely half, if not more, of all the steam being produced is going to the people who are producing the best content, who are most likely to invest back in the site. So the majority of the steam being created is likely locked up for a year. Now, when you go and you select to pay out, it's going to take an entire year for that money to power out, to power down. You can power up instantly, but powering down takes an entire year. You have to wait a year from the day you say, hey, I want out to get your money. Interesting. So that creates some stability. I have put money into Steam and powered it up. I can't even touch it till 2018 at the earliest. Now, you can get some of it out earlier. Okay, so it starts accruing. But if I touch it, if I if I basically say, hey, I want to cash out my thousand steam, so I'm going to power down. Basically, tomorrow I can take one steam out. But if I do that, it actually extends that one year period. Essentially, now, because I'm impatient, I basically am going to have to wait two full years for that original power down. Very interesting. So, are they printing money? Yes. Is a lot of it getting locked up? Probably more than half of it is getting locked up. Definitely probably more than half, guys. Not only that, me as a content creator, I'm incentivized to go to the exchange, purchase Steam, transfer it here, and power it up so I can get more. I'm going to do that if I believe in it, and I have done that to, to, to learn how it works, and I've done that. So it's interesting. That makes you think, well, huh, does that mean the exchanges are slowly drying up? Maybe. Is that why we're seeing this price increase right now? Maybe. I don't have all the answers for why the price is hitting all-time highs. But what I do know is that the concept is very forward-thinking. Now, you're probably still, like, really turned off by the 800 per, um, per minute. But look at it this way. That number is never going to change. 800 seems like a lot right now, but 800 in two years won't be as much as 800 today. There will be more steam out there. So the percentage over time goes down. That is uh, at the of the rate that it is growing. Genius. So if you're in early, Maybe there's huge opportunity. Maybe there's not. Maybe someday it does get diluted and my own, you know, what I'm investing on that site and the votes I'm getting are meaningless. Who knows? But you be the judge. Go sign up. You're going to have to wait about 24 hours after you get your username. But go sign up. Check it out. You get You get free Steam for doing it, first of all, so I don't know why you wouldn't do it. But go check it out. And uh, definitely give me a follow. Make sure you follow me, of course. Uh, the link's down below. Um, and while you're down there, go ahead and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you guys think, if this was useful at all. Um, if you have more questions about Steam and if you want me to follow up on anything, let me know. Um, what I want to do real quick is see if we passed it. And there we are, boys. We just broke an all-time high during this video. Steam it is now $1.21. That is insane. That is insane. I sorry, I got to look and see where we were. Oh my gosh. That's insane, guys. Anyhow, um exciting day for everyone on Steam and especially the people who are contributing and who have been for a long time. Uh big props to people like Crypto who've been giving back to this community and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. I hope you guys will follow me. Uh this is King Adu signing off. May the force be with you.